But at the end of the video, he played this clip. And a lot of you guys know who he is. He's a sports uh, analyst, uh, I think, on FS1. And I, I do want to play this because I just don't understand, for many of us, this deep need for acceptance uh, within the dominant society. And you're going to see what I mean by that when I play this clip right now, right? So let me put this, let me put this, uh, bring this up for us uh, to watch. For people calling Deion Sanders a sellout, let's make one thing crystal clear. There will always be jobs for black people in black spaces. The long-term objective should be to navigate, infiltrate, and integrate spaces that you do not commonly see black faces. That is what Deion Sanders is doing. Why? That should not be the common objective. The objective is not to infiltrate spaces that black folks are not commonly in. The objective is to create our own spaces. That's the objective. You see, so it's, I'm going to let the rest of it play, but stuff like that, with nonsense like that, justifies what people say when they say Dion sold out. You get what I'm saying? It's ridiculousness like that, because that shouldn't be black folks' objective. Black folks' objective shouldn't be to infiltrate essentially white spaces. Why? No, we're supposed to want and create our own. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? What are you talking about right now? But I'm gonna let the rest of it play. Who, who is this dude? Play. Who this guy right here? This is the one that's the uh... help us out. Help us out, chat. Um, you because I I know who he is. Like I said, he's a sports analyst. I believe on FS1. I don't think he's on ESPN. I think he's on. Uh, I think he's on FS1 or, or okay. something like that. But I know somebody will tell us his name in the live chat. Let me let it play a little bit longer. Back to back swag titles, a 12 and 0 season at Jackson State. He earned himself the opportunity to now integrate a space, a PWI that is not as familiar with a coach that may look like, sound like, or bring his swagger to that campus. I'm sorry I have to keep pausing this. He earned himself the opportunity to integrate a predominantly white institution? What? Let's see what he's saying. He, I'm not trying to earn the right to do nothing in a predominantly white space. <laughs> Just. The mindset of this guy is yeah. insanity. Yeah, it's, it's just. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, there he goes. Uh, I know I'm not saying the last name right, but Emmanuel o Oku or Oku, however you say the last name. He's <laughs> and he's he's a you know Emmanuel Oku. Uh, mm. Is he, he's like on FS1 or something like that or Fox Sports or whatever. I, I'm gonna yeah, let this go though. I'm gonna let it keep rolling. Now that Deion Sanders can collect some real estate in a space that's not typically occupied by a black face, then he can continue to elevate people that look like him. Let's not be so simple minded. Let's not be so short sighted. Let's not be so small in our train of thought that we do not. Really listen to what he's saying. He's saying that your black folks are simple minded and short sighted for wanting to build up their own spaces and their own institutions. I'll just let it play some more. I think an opportunity for a black man going to a PWI is not a good opportunity for black people at large. Let's think about what Deion Sanders did for an HBCU. Coming from somebody who's on the television side of things, do y'all realize that college game day, one of or no, maybe the biggest college football show was on an HBCU campus for the first time in ever because of what Deion Sanders helped do. He did not do it exclusively. There are a whole bunch of people that played a part, but because of what Deion Sanders helped do. Let's applaud Deion. The fact, once again, this everything that he's saying plays to the talking point that Dion sold out. The fact that Dion left means that all that stuff is leaving with him. This He really thinks he's spitting right now and he's not helping Dion at all. <laughs> like, he's actually proving the point that he's sold out. He's proving the point. He's proving it. Like, even though, like, I don't personally feel that way and, you know, we've expressed why, this guy really thinks he's spitting right now and he's proving everybody's point that, duh, see, Dion sold out. <laughs> That's why when you see dudes like this who think they spitting and they're not, they're not, uh, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> let me, let me, it's almost over. Let me let this play out. Let me let this play. 
Deion Sanders for what he's done at Jackson State and what he's about to go do at Colorado. And shout out to the next person that takes over at Jackson State. Keep doing what Deion Sanders already did. But what I'm not going to do is tear down a black man who already helped succeed and put a program to a higher level of notoriety from a national perspective. I'm not going to try to take his legs out from under him. Congratulations to you, Dion. Go occupy real estate in a space that we typically don't see a person looking like you occupy. Go All right, I'm going to give him some advice. Go, go, give... no, go, go ahead, go ahead. Go, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to give him some advice. Next time, just don't say anything and scroll down social media until you see a bunch of comments that you like and click the like button and keep it moving. Don't record a video or anything like that. (laughs) 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 Don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? You see some stuff you like, you happen to scroll down and you see just talking with TD and Rob and we talking that good stuff. Click the like button. And just go on and do something else. <laughs> All right, just go and do something else, man. He really thought he was spitting, though. That's what's crazy. And it's like, bro, you you're not helping Dion at all. Right now. Look at Dion even looking at him like what did you say? <laughs> Even what was Dion, that? Dion said, "What the hell you just say?" Right. Even Dion is looking at him like, "Man, what you just say?" Dion, like, bro, you got me looking bad out here. Like, just, just don't say nothing. Like, like, bro, Dion put the microphone so... up on his on his. He put the microphone up on his hat and said, "Hold up." <laughs> That was so bad that he even has me reconsidering my position on whether or not Dion sold out. You know, I'm like, you know, now that I think about it, Dion did sell out. <laughs> like, uh, bro, I'm so confused. I need to watch all the videos and read all the articles again just to see what's going on. I'm confused. Right. Like, I, think, I, think, I think might have had it wrong, you know, after hearing him speak like, shoot, <laughs> like, I got it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky <laughs> Nick said, "That boy is spitting." <laughs> oh, he really thought he was spitting, though. He really thought he was. <laughs> <laughs>